Here is the question. Why did neither Napoleon nor Hitler take Moscow? The answer is... Wait at once ease for the fatigue. What does it mean? Is it about waiting to victory? The answer is no. It is about indirectly depleting the enemy's strength. It is a huge advantage to be able to choose the time and place for battle. In this way you know when and where the battle will take place while your enemy does not. And by using this stratagem you can control the war. Make your enemy to expend his energy in futile quests while you conserve your strength. When he is exhausted and confused, you attack with energy and purpose. Here are some tips. 1. Avoid attacking when the enemy's morale is high. 2. Keep your troops in order and wait for the enemy to break into chaos. 3. Attack when the enemy is busy dealing with chaos. Morale. 4. Meet the enemy's impatience with calm and composure. Psychological. 5. Attack the weary enemy with a refreshed army. Fight a hungry enemy with well-fed soldiers, powerful ones. Here's the key. Active defense, energy conservation, effective control of the enemy. Actively mobilize the enemy to make them tired and confused. Until the situation changes. Quickly turn defense to attack. The wait here is not passive waiting. On the contrary, it is active counterattack preparation. The following is a comparison of the status of both sides. Calm and sober. Two. Chaos and panic. Full of energy. Two. Exhausted. Plenty of supplies. Two. Out of ammunition and food. Commercial applications. One. In business. Necessary concessions can lead to greater profits. And being aggressive may lead you into a dead end. Two. Of course, the use of retreat strategy should adapt to the timing and control of the situation. Three. This is also a common stratagem to make money in business. The use of this plan requires operators to have patience, withstand a variety of temptations and tribulations to maintain their own good state. 4. In business, to compromise is not the goal, but the opportunity to win. Now, let's go to the real examples of war. On June 23rd, 1812, Napoleon himself led six million troops across the Nurman River to begin the war against Russia. Napoleon was overconfident. He thought that by capturing Moscow before the winter was over, he could force them to surrender. But to his surprise, they retreated into the heart of Russia and did not surrender until the winter, depleting the enemy's logistics as a result. In the face of the severe winter, Napoleon's army did not prepare winter supplies at all. And a large number of soldiers froze to death. They can only withdraw from Russia. Only 30,000 people returned to France. This is the best example of this stratagem. Russia waited at its ease for the exhausted enemy. Now, another question is, would Hitler have changed the outcome of the Soviet-German war if he had waited until spring instead of attacking Moscow in the winter? 
The answer is no. Because Germany was well aware of each other's strengths and weaknesses and adopted a lightning strategy against the Soviet Union, which was to chase and fight with full force to avoid being overwhelmed. However, due to various reasons, the Soviet Union could only use its huge territorial advantage to form strategic depth and stop the German attack speed through the war of attrition, so as to win a breathing space for itself, to wipe out the effective forces of the Germans and turn the tide of the war. They are the best examples of this stratagem.